Hey everyone, in this training video, we're gonna go over how to operate a snowplow. Check this out. Hey everyone, today we're gonna be going over how to operate a snowplow on a truck. Uh, first things first, uh, I wanna have a big shout out to Precision Landscape in Minnesota. Uh, they helped us out by letting us use one of their trucks. Uh, we found a great, we got a practice area. I, I encourage anyone that's new to this, uh, you've heard in other videos, you're not gonna watch this video nor any other video and be really good at operating a snowplow on a truck. It's all about just seat time. So uh, I highly recommend getting out. We've got a practice area as, at this mall that we were able to use. So we're gonna go over the basic controls. I tell people up front, I'm not an expert. So this will be more of an entry level video. So let's go ahead and go over the controls. Okay, so today we're gonna be going over a pretty standard snowplow on a truck. Uh, we're using a Western uh, V plow. Uh, a lot of the controls I'm going to go over there are pretty standard, you know, different plow styles. You either usually have a V or you'll have the, the straight blade with the wings on it. Um, but a lot of the functionality is going to be very similar. Uh, with anything you're starting out, if this is, again, this is going to be an entry level for someone doing this brand new, I can't uh, stress enough, get in that snow plow before you actually have to use it for an event, a snow event. You know, it's, you don't want to be learning on, I'm all about learning on the job, but not when you're in the middle of a snowstorm. So we have a great practice area to use. Uh, again, we're using, uh, with Precision Landscape, we got a, a Chevy a Silverado we're running with uh, in this Western V Plow. So, with that said, first things first, you know, safety is the most important thing here. Uh, we're, again, I'm kind of on the side over here where I can go over this practice area, but I want to go over the controls real quick. Most typically, you're going to find two different control styles for a truck plow. Probably most common is a handheld. Uh, that's going to be just like this. The other I have, you can actually get a joystick mounted one that's kind of comes down to the side of your leg. Uh, I've only used one of those once. I Most people prefer this. The reason this is nice and a lot of times I'll have a strap on there too is you don't take your right hand off. You're going to leave your right hand on that remote so I can shift back and forth. And then I got my left for steering, my right for my snowplow control. Now on this one, uh, there's an on off on the very top here. So it was on right there, red light's on. And then right now I'm already uh, in the up position. So fairly simple again. So if I go, you know, right now it's up. So if I push down, it goes down, it brings it down. Eventually when I'm pushing, you will see a little green light for float. And that just means that uh, the blade is floating. There's no hydraulic pressure going to it. So it'll go, go up and down there uh, as you need. So pull it back, that raises it back. Then you've got your left and right. If I go to the right with that, moves the whole blade to the right. And if I go to the left, goes all the way to the left. Now, these blades, they will stop on their own. So you don't have to feel like you're gonna hit uh, you know, a stop where you have to manually do it. They'll go back and forth on their own. And then there's straight right there. Uh, and then on this, with the V-plow, you've got those additional. You can either go into a V-motion. So if I hit scoop up there, it'll actually go into a V formation. This is really good when you're just trying to get one row, uh, kind of pushing all that snow together in there. And then on this side is the retract. So this is if you were to do any trail clearing or any uh, maybe even a narrow driveway, this is great because you can go down in a V and I almost call it like a train. You ever seen the train videos where they're going through? This will just push snow off each side of you. Not really practical on a commercial job. It would be more of, you'll see a lot of the city trail guys running down trail paths. Because if it's about the width of your truck, that's perfect formation. You just go down once, push it out both sides evenly. Uh, and then bring it back to straight. And then finally, there are manual ways to control each of your wings. So you got your left wing and your right wing. Uh, on the western plow, if you push it there, it goes forward. And then if I push it again, it goes back. So it's kind of just on or off, back and forth, one way or the other. That's my left and that's my right. So that's if you need to get particular on one side, one side of the wing or not. Now, a couple things here, I'm gonna straighten it out here. Typically when you're traveling, you're gonna have this blade up and then you often wanna have this at a little bit of an angle that allows some airflow to come in, you know, the radiator in the front of the truck, you still gotta get airflow into that. So if you're at a little bit of an angle, it pulls that, it'll still allow access in there. And plus, if, you're, if you do end up hitting anything, you, you just got that one little corner down there, it's a little bit safer when you're driving with it at an angle versus straight there. So those are the basic controls. Other than that, the truck is, you know, standard. Usually you're gonna be running in four high. Uh, you know, if you're really pushing a lot or in your slower speeds, you can go to four low, but typically you're just going to be in a four high formation. 
So those are the basic controls. Now I'm gonna go over uh, what it actually looks like to plow. Okay, now that we're ready to plow, you know, first things first, I, safety obviously, always make sure you have a seat belt on. Uh, as if, if you, any of you guys have plowed before, you just never know what you're gonna potentially hit. And that can be an abrupt stop. So you wanna have that seat belt on. I know a lot of guys that get going, they just are in and out of their trucks and we think about it, but I, you gotta wear a seat belt in these things. Uh, and then two, you know, the biggest thing we have, we're gonna have a top mistakes or for new operators, what the top errors we see. Uh, but I will say the number one is just know where you're plowing. You have a plan in place, know the site, no obstructions, things like that before you go out there. Now, typically uh, for like a V plow like this, uh, it's, it's, and for any commercial lot, you're gonna just do a windrow where you're going to figure out where the plan is, where all the snow goes. But a windrow is basically when it goes at an angle of the blade and you just keep pushing it over. The V is gonna take material and just push it forward. When you're doing a, the, the windrow, you're basically keep, with that blade angle, you're gonna keep pushing that material over to whatever direction you're going. And you're trying to pull it away, obviously, from if there is a building or anything like that. The other thing you wanna, when you open up for that, usually you've, and I've already done it here where I've kind of cleaned out a spot. So I initially go this direction where I'm going to be backing into for the windrow. So I did about four passes here, whatever the width of that truck is. Um, so you'll see I have an opening here. So now that was already cleared out. Then I'm just lining up for my lines here. Now, the key to wind rowing is, first of all, knowing, and you won't know this really usually till the first second pass, depending on how much snow, in an ideal world, you don't want anything to spill off on your outside. So I'm going to the left here, so I wanna try and keep material from going to the right. So I'm dropping that, I'm making sure it's in float. Another big mistake I see is too many operators go fast right away. Take it slow, take it easy. So you're driving down, I'm in float. I'm really not doing anything with my plow at all. I'm just leaving it, monitoring everything happens. I come to the end. Once I'm at the end, I'm gonna pick that up a little bit. Just if there was a curb right now, we're kind of in a training area and then keep raising it and pushing it. You also wanna make sure you keep pushing that forward. If you just leave that pile right there at the end, you're gonna end, you know, the, the truck can only pick up snow so far. So you wanna make sure you keep pushing that to wherever it needs to be and then work your way backwards. After that, you're picking it all the way up and then you're reversing. Obviously, being careful where you're going, knowing what you're backing, but I, if you can go in a straight line, that's ideal. As I come back towards the end there, I'm gonna line back up my next one. Again, I've got a cleared out area here. And again, dropping it back down. I'm aiming with this amount of snow, I'm almost putting this right down the center, just because we've got a good, probably, foot of snow here this is an area that we haven't been in uh, it's not an area we keep plowed regularly and at the end I'm picking it back up as you back up and I can see it you know you even that even going at half I spilled material off the side so that's where if you see that don't worry about it that's just an adjustment you need to make so I know that I can't do that quite as much on the next one so I won't get I'll be you know a little less than halfway And I'm still, again, this is an area that we don't plow regularly, so we have a lot of snow here. Now, let's say I did a couple of those, so I'm going to keep pushing the windrows uh, to that left side there. I will say, and, and the way I'm, I set this up, you know, I would, you want to be, one of the other things in having your plan is understanding your winds. So today we're actually having a lot of winds, uh, so using that to your advantage. Right now, the winds are actually blowing to the right. So it's a little counterproductive what I'm doing because I'm plowing to the left, but it's gonna keep blowing over. So in an ideal world, uh, if I could try and coordinate that, you want that wind to be going the same direction. It doesn't work out all the time that way because I'm actually trying to pull snow away from the center islands here. Now at the end of this, I'll show just, so I had some spillover. You know, in an ideal world, you don't wanna have that at the end, you don't have to redo it. But when you have a lot of snow like we have out here right now, you're gonna have that. This is where that V formation comes in. That's where having that, and just aiming for that right down the center. That'll scoop all that up and then pushing it through right there at the end. You do wanna be careful at the end of those. You know, I have the, 
your pickup, if you, you want to keep pushing it forward, but this is also where I've seen plows get, there's a, your undercarriage, you have that plow where it'll get stuck on there if you keep pushing too far, for, too far through that. Now, after you get good and you know your spot, you know, slow is definitely the best way to start. But I will say, you know, having a little bit of, you want to have that momentum pushing forward. That snow starts rolling forward. So that's as you get better, something you will, you know, hopefully pick up a little bit of speed on there. Now, what you're going to feel here, as you push more and more snow, especially when you're wind rowing, you're going to feel the front end, it's going to want to push your uh, machine out a little bit. The bigger the pickup, like this, I'm not feeling that much. Well, we've done some other videos, like we have a, a John Deere Gator. You know, if you have a lighter machine and you're going to feel that, that's where you have to counteract that by steering into it a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to keep pushing your front end out. Okay, everyone, so that's how to operate a snowplow on a truck. Again, this was very entry level. We'll do additional videos going over a little bit more techniques in the future. Again, big thanks to Precision Landscape for letting us use both their truck and one of their uh, accounts here in this practice area. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're a plow operator, please put in the comments any tips or tricks, mistakes you've made. And thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,